All right, guys. You will not believe it, but it is a spectacularly gorgeous. We are talking a seriously over-the-top beautiful mid-September day here in the collapse of everything at Bugs in a Jar Farm as this absolutely glorious weather just keeps on coming bring it on so i have a full house here at the vacation rental business and uh so i better get today's uh chronicle of the collapse uh recorded here so i don't get interrupted like i did last night not sure uh if my vacation rental guests really want to hear what uh, medium.com doomer writer Mike Myers has to say here on, uh, what is it, officially, we are halfway, th almost halfway through, it is Saturday, September 14th, 2024, and uh, <clears throat> Guys, on, 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 on one hand, I apologize for, uh, for uh, not rehashing. I, I, I guess uh, not rehashing because it ha hasn't happened yet. For hashing this uh, dog and pony show, this distraction called the presidential election. Uh, particularly that debate, which I did not see. Uh, I just predicted that in that debate that Kamala Harris uh, would, you know, just totally destroy Donald Trump. I, I mean, just, uh, it just sounded ugly. It, it, uh, I had no interest, and for the record, just in case anybody knows this, I am not voting for either one of those planet-eating corporate hordes. Okay, it makes no difference to the uh, circling of the drain in this country and on this planet. Which one of those uh, lying sack of shit, flip-flopping corporate hordes uh, comes into the White House? Uh, so anyway, uh, with that being said, I have to say that uh, I'm going to have to cheer on Mike Meyer in his latest Medium.com article for the single most penetrating analysis of a debate I never watched between two people I will never vote for. Uh, it, it, this man took the words right out of my mouth. Take it away, Mike Meyer, and tell us what the debate means for this planet and more importantly, what the election means. <clears throat> Titled, Are We On The Right Train? It must be everyone is smiling. Okay, take it away, Mike. <clears throat> Kamala Harris handing Donald Trump his ass last Tuesday evening has transfixed North America and much of the world. The post-debate analysis has already become redundant. There is nothing that Trump's handlers can do to put him back together again because he is senile, a malignant narcissist, an asshole, an uncon and uncontrollable. He has no business. Donald Trump has <clears throat> no business being considered for any position of importance. His cult followers search for conspiracies and starving Haitian immigrants to blame is also hopeless. Trump is done 
Taylor Swift delivered the coup de grace with millions of followers at the perfect time. The U.S. political system is so broken that Donald Trump may still end up in the White House, and there is nothing that can be done about it. <coughs> While Kamala did an excellent job destroying Donald Trump, that was the proverbial fish in a barrel. Um, I guess people outside of the U.S. have heard of the uh, saying it was like shooting fish in a barrel when something is so easy. Uh, <laughs> that's what that was comment meant for you out of staters. Anyway, a more cynical view <clears throat> is that Kamala performed as hoped and provided a critical distraction. And there you do you think so? A, a distraction? Kamala Harris providing a distraction? Ha! Huh. Mike Meyer? What are you talking about? No one is talking about planetary climate collapse, capitalist economic failure, the slaughter of students in schools, uh, and active support of genocide. None of this was discussed because these are ongoing policies that cannot be changed. The only issue from Trump before he was baited into defending... Come on, this new computer, it's... Uh, you know, I finally got this new computer, and it, you barely, barely touch it, and it goes zipping down. Anyway, uh, finding my place again. Uh, the only issue from Trump before he was baited into defending his own insanity was the problem of immigration fortifying the borders and killing refugees as the ultimate solution also seems to have been agreed upon. Kamala was not interested in talking about any of this, except to say that military domination is the rule, not an option, and she and her husband own guns. Sorry, in an accelerating planetary population crisis driven by climate disasters and asset theft with regions of the planet becoming uninhabitable, building walls, shooting refugees, and deporting arbitrary parts of your population is not a solution. The assumed solution is the ancient tradition of barricading oneself in a castle with peasants, chickens, and cattle. That worked only if an epidemic killed the invaders, but it also killed the people inside. Let's look at what is destroying our world. We know there is no way to stop the climate disaster without terminating the use of fossil fuels. Renewable energy is the only option, but it must be done faster and for everything that needs to be replaced planet-wide. Converting New electrical generation to renewables is happening, but that is only a percentage of our use of fossil fuels. Our modern world uses gas, oil, plastics, and diesel-powered industrial equipment. How are we going to do that? When will that priority be set? Shouldn't that schedule be a primary use of political debate? 
we need to remove deniers from any position of authority, which is another change for which we have no process or standards. Okay, let's get serious. The real problem is that we need governmental systems to manage our survival needs. Nation states are failing. We need to prioritize our problems and then try to fix them. Ain't gonna happen. Our biggest problem is that we have too many people and too much stuff, which is making our planet uninhabitable for us and our related life forms. Who was it who said, what was it 30 years ago that Ted Turner uh, said, the problem on this planet is that we have too many people eating too much stuff. My favorite quote ever from a billionaire with six children living in a mansion. Uh, anyway, thank you for reminding us that Ted Turner was right. More precisely, making and disposing of all that stuff for so many people is destroying our planet. Yet most people have very little stuff while a tiny minority hoards vast quantities. But everyone is supposed to want what that tiny, tiny minority has, creating anxiety, outrage, and conflict. That want is deadly and impossible on a small planet with limited resources. Our eco economic system is wrong because it demands that we consume more, not for our happiness, but for the greed of a small minority. Kamala, programmed to follow the rules, had nothing to say about this other than advocating economic growth and emphasizing weapons. She did not directly say for weapons, but that is understood from context. The American empire is built on global military dominance and genocide. Sorry, but that is a historical reality. Kamala's message, you know, in the debates and, well, since she uh, ever got into the back door of the White House, Kamala's message was that nothing will change. We desperately need massive change planet-wide and that has been ultimately denied. Why are people so excited, you know, about Kamala Harris? Why are people so excited about Kamala Harris? You know, this is me talking. Exactly. Why are people so excited about electing another corporate whore uh, whose message is that nothing will change. Nothing. Nothing. Okay? Our civilization is on the express train to hell, but riding with assholes and idiots is no fun. It's so much better to travel with friendly people. I agree, but... If no one leads the change, we will end up in hell anyway, and it is getting hotter by the day. 
Thank you, Mike Meyer, for uh, I I explaining how anyone with a brain can, on one hand, have Trump derangement syndrome, uh, and on the other hand, uh, understanding that you know where it matters uh, that Kamala Harris is an all alternative to Donald Trump, you know, uh, like I've said, is like French vanilla ice cream is an alternative to regular vanilla ice cream. Uh, she's a little more palatable. Uh, anyway, that is enough wasting our, uh, time and energy on that distraction uh, but I don't know if uh, if it could have been said any better now do note guys I, I didn't say it during the essay but it, it sounds a little bit like Mike Myers is buying that uh, that bright green lie stuff I uh, couldn't really tell whether he was insinuating that uh, renewable energy is going to do anything to save this planet more than fossil fuels. <clears throat> All right. But speaking of fossil fuels... Uh, I guess I gotta crank up that goddamn gas-sucking lawnmower one more time. I I forgot to mow the grass up here at Blue Dragon Tiny House. So let me crank up the fossil-fueled lawnmower while I still can. There's some rumor going around that uh, gasoline-powered lawnmowers are going to be illegal in the state of New York soon. Uh, so get out there and enjoy your fossil-fueled lawnmower while you still can. Bye, guys.